Hi everybody, my name is Paolo Gai and in this short video I'm going to show you how to compile an Atosal application using the RT Druid, RT Generator and Derek Enterprise 3. This work has been funded by the Hercules H2020 project. The key idea of this video is that we are going to run a minimal Atosal application on an Arduino Uno board using the following tools the RT Druid, the RT Generator and Configurator, which is still the, uh, the first beta, and the Eric Enterprise V3 for AVR8. If you consider the traditional AutoSAR structure and system view, what we are going to use is just Eric3 uh, as the operating system and the RTE generated by RT Druid. In the video, we'll basically build and run an AutoSAR system through the following step. First, we will edit and view the AutoSAR file using RTOP 4.3. Then we generate the RTE code using RTDruid. RTDruid will also generate the Eric Enterprise configuration code. Then we compile the complete application and flash the binary image into the Arduino Uno board. Finally, we run the system in the Arduino Uno board and we see the results on a small terminal. The application is composed by two software components with two runnables each. The two runnables run at different frequencies and they have two kinds of ports, both the uh, client server port and the data exchange port. We are now going to show the system live. Let's now start uh, Eclipse with uh, RTDruid pre-installed. Particularly, this Eclipse version is derived from the RTOP uh, uh, distribution. Eclipse has now started. We can see the RTOP test that we are doing. It is actually an XML file with AutoSAR XML, and you can see it's an AutoSAR file which contains the components that we have seen in the in the previous slides. In particular, it contains the following components. As you can see that they have the input and output port, and they have also the, the runnables here, and then you have the mapping of the system and of the operating system and the RT. So the AutoSAR XML that we are using is completely mapped. At this point, we then open uh, Eric Enterprise. In this Eric Enterprise, we have a simple demo, which is used to blink a few LEDs in the Arduino Uno board. At this point, we can just start the compilation of the system. You will see that there are three phases. In the first phase, which is this one, the RT is generated and compiled. In the second phase, the RT Druid code generator takes as input to the OIL file and configures Erica 3. And finally, as the third phase, we compile everything in a binary image for Arduino. At this point, we refresh the project. We are ready to open the generated output. In first of all, the RTE. You can see, for example, in RTE type that there are the types used for for this demo, and as well as in the in the software components, you have all the ports and all the other informations. For example, the read of the ports and the write of the ports of the RTE. Then, in the second directory, we have the Erica three. Uh, directories which is generated from the RT Druid and you can see that there is a pool directory where there are the configuration generated by RT Druid and as a result all the sources are copied here in this directory and all the good files are copied here. As a result of the compilation of Erica you have a library which is actually this library here and uh, finally the application is compiled uh, under the out directory and you have an elf file which is the application file which is then programmed inside the board. We can now program the Arduino application so what we do we start an X terminal we change the directory and as you can see the make file which is there is uh, uh, ready to run the Arduino programmer to program the board. So we say make upload and the system uploads the board. As a result, you can see that the LED is currently blinking in an alternate way. At this point, we can open a terminal to see whether the system works correctly. So we open putty, we go serial, com5, uh, this is the baud rate, and we say open. You can see that there is a tick, a periodic tick with the runnable running correctly in sequence with the actual board. 
So as you have seen, we have now a complete workflow, which starts from a completely mapped uh, AutoSide XML and ends up with a binary generation for Arduino. Thanks all for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the email that is on the screen now. Thank you. Bye-bye.